Hello, welcome to the IoT Empire. I'm your host, Julno, and we do need another coffee short today, don't we? We will talk about the ESP8266 and the special board of the ESP8266, the Vemos D1 Mini. It's one of my favorite development boards. It's very cheap. You can get it for about $2 from AliExpress. And even if there are a lot of other development boards, this is my favorite and I will show you today why I think that's a really nice board to start with and why it is so cool. But first, we need to get some coffee. Okay, let's get a cup. Hey Minecraft, turn on the water kettle. There we go. Great. Now we can start. Okay, let's take a look. There we are. This is the ESP8266 on the Vemos D1 Mini. And that's kind of the, my favorite configuration in what I use it. So you see, it has actually a USB power adapter and has the power converter already on there. It has a serial port so you can directly program it from the computer. So it's a full development board and you see here are the pin headers. So usually when you order that one, uh, you can go to an AliExpress or on Amazon. Usually AliExpress is usually $2 a piece on Amazon it might be up to $4 a piece. It comes in such a little bag and you see it's you have to sort it yourself and it comes with different types of pin headers. So you see you have these long ones here, you have these and the actual pin headers. And then you have to basically put this on there and sort it yourself. But you see there are different configurations. So which ones should you use? So if we do the pin headers, we get something like this here, you see? And then you can actually take this guy and put it in a breadboard and then you can easily plug something in the breadboard and program it yourself. So, but you have seen already, if we use the other pin header, we get a configuration like this. And you can also see basically, if you don't use any pin header, then it's a really slender profile. So I actually use that even to sew into clothes. So you can actually use that even that way. But I usually use it like this and you I can of course plug some devices and some cables directly in there but the cool thing is that this is kind of a special format and you can get ready-made sensors for this and this gives the whole thing some kind of Lego character which makes it really easy to use in teaching context or for prototyping so you can see some devices So this is a Dallas temperature sensor. These are programmable LEDs. So it's like an RGB strip, a normal button. This is a relay. And this is a display with two buttons. And then you can just take these and plug them in here. See? So this is super easy. And then you just need the software and can work with this. And the very nice thing is you can also, because this is a standard, get for a couple of cents such a thing here, which is a proto board. And then you can build your own configuration. So I, you can, I will link another movie where I sort out this guy. And I use this for the class to have a couple of LEDs and a couple of buttons on there. So if you have a sensor and you want to turn it into a default sensor for the Vemos D1 Mini, it's super easy to do because they all follow this same layout. And you will say now, hmm, but then we can only use one device. No, because there's this cool thing here. You have this with two and with three. And you can take this here and plug it in to the Vimos D1 Mini if you have this configuration. And they also see what you, you need the through pins for, the long pins for. So you can stack things on top of each other. And then I can put several of these here on the top, like this. Neat, isn't it? 
See, my coffee is nearly gone. And yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. This is the reason why I think the Vemos D1 Mini is so cool. You can get it for two bucks. And then if you maybe spend one or two dollars more, you can get off these different configurations and different sensors. And you can get super started super easily without much uh, soldering effort and even recombine devices in an easy way to build your own first IoT projects. And I think we will soon go there and show you some of these. So stay tuned and see you soon in the IoT Empire. Bye-bye.